Hello everyone, and welcome to my reaction for Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 148. Uh, I had seen some mild spoilers about some stuff in this chapter. I already know it's Maki-centric, but I've, I don't think I've seen anything super huge. I haven't really seen any panels. I just had some short glimpses before I looked away. Um, yeah, so my dog is outside my door. I don't know what she's going to do trying to get attention. My cat is here, but he's asleep, so he probably won't make any noise. So hopefully we can do this without any interruption. So let's get into it. Uh, I was wondering who that could be. Your face looks awful. Those wounds won't heal, right? What are you going to do now, Maki? Oh boy, now he is back already. But you're, um, you're one to fucking talk up right now after what happened to you. So you really can tell women apart by their faces. I thought you only looked at their asses. <laughs> I'm asking you what you're going to do. Answer me, trash. You can't use cursed techniques or see cursed spirits. Your face, that was your only saving grace, is now messed up. I doubt you'll be able to find yourself a partner looking like this. That's harsh. Should I bully you as I did in the past? So again, what are you going to do? Will you just tag along after Akotsu and Megami? Say something, you piece of trash. Maki, please go back. Do you forget we're not allowed to access the cursed tools warehouse? The head said it was fine. Ah ha ha, how convenient. Thanks, Megami. Me? The head of the Zenin clan? It was Naobito Zenin's last request. I have to refuse. It's too tiring. This is not something you can decline. Please accept the offer. Naobito mentioned that he would bequeath all the Zenin clan's assets to you, Megami. From the money to the cursed tools, if you become the head, you'll receive all information from the three clans in Jujutsu headquarters. Will make a big difference in how we stand from now on. It's an interesting outfit for Maki. I guess that's casual clothing. Also, where are they? Where are they right now? Or well, not right now, but in the flashback. Oh, and Maki doesn't have her glasses here. Um, then why don't you do it, Maki? Nobody would agree to that with me like this. You've inherited the innate technique and mastered domain expansion. Satoru even has an eye on you. Make up your mind, Megami. Does consent or what the Zenin clan thinks really matter? And those benefits that you spoke of earlier, you can get them as long as you become the head, right? I'm still not good enough. If it was me, I wouldn't be able to make room for Mai yet. I understand. I said go back. Is this Maki's mom? I feel like this is Maki's mom. Why? Why are you always like this? For once in my life, make me feel proud, Maki. God, you're a bitch. You're a terrible mom, saying this kind of shit. Also, what does she have here, this thing wrapped up, this weapon? Oh, this, oh, this cursed warehouse is looking pretty nice so far. I'm getting the vibe. Oh, father. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I knew about this. Ogi, there are no cursed tools here, Maki. I anticipated your move and disposed of them. Is that my? Oh, shit. Why did you come here, you idiot? My. If this was what you were planning from the planning, tell me from the start. You are being too hasty now, yeah. Undoubtedly, Megami Fushiguro is better than you. The hell? There are many who support him, seeing this as an opportunity to restore our relationship with the Gojo clan. Really? The Zenin want to do that? Interesting. But we cannot agree with handing over all of our clan's assets to Megami Fushiguro. Then why are we acting so slow? Megami Fushiguro has forged a good relationship with the Gojo clan and also with Noritoshi Kamo, the next generation head of the Kamo clan. If we get rid of him without a proper reason, it will only worsen our position among the clans and will fall behind in the shifting power struggle. I get that, but why now? You haven't been paying attention to the notices from Jujutsu headquarters, have you? Satoru Gojo has been permanently exiled from the Jujutsu world as he was deemed an accomplice of the Shibuya incident. Removing his seal is considered a criminal act. There is no way we aren't going to use this. Of course, you fucking guys. Such opportunists. We will execute Megami Fushiguro, Maki Zenin, and Mai Zenin for plotting the release of Satoru Gojo. Uh-oh. The uh, translators kind of messed up. They said Satoru twice. Fringe. Uh... <laughs> killing his own daughter will surely give him more credibility. Really, Ugi is going to try and kill Maki. Ah, uh, shit. And with that, Jujutsu Headquarters' faith 
and our clan will solidify. But is Uncle Ogie really okay with that? Man, you guys are all fucking scumbags. You guys are the worst. Oh, fuck yeah. Ogie was the initial proposer. Secret technique, falling blossom emotion. So is this, does this also work like simple domain where you can use it kind of offensively? Well, not offensively, but like if someone enters your range, you can attack them immediately. This technique can intercept the enemy's technique by enveloping your body and sword with cursed energy. Ogi is able to divert the Falling Blossom Emotion technique to an EI as a countermeasure to domain expansions. Okay, so it's literally working. It's, well, you know, the way behind how it works is different, but it's being used literally the same way Miwa uses Simple Domain. It's in preparation for the worst case scenario when faced with an unknown curse tool for Maki or Mai. While preparing to attack with all of his strength, he still braces himself for an unpredictable situation. What do we have? What the fuck is that? That's something you got from Juzo's workshop. Kumaya Juzo's masterpiece, the Curse Tool Keel. It absorbs the impact of the cursed energy on the blade and dispels it at the user's will. Oh fuck, so it's basic- Oh shit. I had wondered if there would be a curse technique like this, where you can absorb and, um and release cursed energy from other people. That's fucking cool. Taking advantage of the fact that my opponent isn't aware of the ability of the cursed tool, I'll pretend to take him on in an EI match, and after the second or third clash, I'll cut him down. Oh, you're ready to kill your dad? Well, I mean, he was an asshole, so. Do you know why my older brother was chosen as the head instead of me? It's because you're a real piece of shit that doesn't mind killing his own children, right? Ooh, I bet he liked that. All right. We, do we have their EI slash? Oh, Maki blocked it. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, shit. She cut his fucking sword in half. That's fucking awesome. Also, this is a really cool panel of Maki here. Goddamn boy. What a loser. Ooh. Ooh, she went around him. Trying to hit him with the sword. What is that? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this here? What am I looking at, actually? Something has been cut. Oh shit, he cut Maki's face. Fuck. And, uh, his sword broke again? Oh shit. I, the blade I just broke, how? The reason I couldn't become the head was because you two were nothing but failures. Oh shit. Oh, this is, oh. Oh, this was a really fucking good chapter. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't mind having waited, like, three weeks for this. Because this, this was a fucking great chapter. Um, like, not just the content of it, but I feel like a lot of the paneling and just kind of, like, everything involving the art was really good this week. So, kudos to you, Gege. I see that that long hiatus did, did you wonders. I know some people were complaining about some of the paneling in previous chapters. Um that it wasn't as good as it usually is. Uh, but this was, uh, was pretty good here. Uh, so, yeah. That's all I have to say for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Jujutsu Kaisen chapter reactions and reviews every week we get a new chapter. If you enjoy other series such as Wreck of Ragnarok, Kengen Omega, Black Clover, and Kaiju No. 8, I do videos in those series as well. So, if you're interested in those, you should definitely check out my channel. If you enjoyed discussing Jujutsu Kaisen with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Since it's the end of the video, it's time to give a shout-out to my wonderful patrons. The recipients of the shout-out today are Anthony Chavez, Honey Mustard, Zach Rowitz, K-God, and Angel Does It. Thank you all very much for supporting me on Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. And if you, too, want to get a shout-out at the end of videos or access to some solo leveling and omniscient reader content, you can always become a patron as well. Just link to my Patreon down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.